award-winning costume designer Ruthie Carter has worked on iconic films like Black Panther and Black Panther Wakanda Forever. Yes, and she was recently in Boston to host a really important event and carved out time to catch up with Kwani. Watch. Ruth E. Carter, thank you for stopping by. Right before a very be busy weekend here in your home state, take a deep breath, because yeah. I think you have a lot to do this weekend. <laughs> yeah. First, you'll be emceeing the BAA Honors Boston Arts Academy, their uh, uh, annual fundraiser. How yes. does it feel to, one, how important is the Boston Arts Academy to you? Oh, listen, I mean, uh, mentorship is important. Having a, a space that's a public school, the only public school that's uh, dedicated to arts education in the country, um, but also so that, you know, children have a place to go um, when they have this special something inside of them that's burning, like the desire to be an artist, the desire to be a dancer, the desire to, uh, you know, to perform. They can uh, go to Boston Arts Academy. It's a public school. And uh, I wish I had that um, growing up. I think I kind of made my own uh, way in terms of art. And now you have mentorship there. You have, you know, education in there, so it's great. And you're on the board, so what is it like, to your point of not necessarily growing up with this opportunity, but now being able to give back to the next generation? Yeah, well, well, I learned a lot, uh, you know, doing it on my own for so long, so now I kind of feel like I can relate to the students, mm -hmm. and that I have some insight into what they may want or need. Nice. So it's really a nice place to land after um, going on the journey that I've been on. Earlier this year, you took home two Academy Awards. So have you had the chance to reflect on the work that you've done so far and how it's been affecting and helping young women and people of color that want to get into film? Well, I have always um, embraced uh, bringing people in. I've always had internships. I've always had PAs. Um, you know, I'm I, trying to be your intern. Okay. Look. <laughs> I, I've always liked to see others uh, that were like me yeah. uh, come into the fold and and not be afraid um, and to embrace like you know Afro future and what it means to be a storyteller and um, really the the broadness of this profession you know it is storytelling and a lot of people want to put me in like the fashion mode and I, I appreciate fashion and I love fashion but costume design is you know being a filmmaker being a collaborate collaborator mm -hmm. and a filmmaker you've worked on a ton of iconic films that most people will know at least one of the films you worked on but what would you say was maybe the most challenging one that you've had to well they all kind of have their own challenge you know BAPS had a challenge the five heartbeats had a fa it depended on where I was at the time um, but I would say Black Panther I'd never done a, a superhero film uh, Marvel gave me a big opportunity Ryan Coogler was an amazing director to work for and they all just had confidence that I was gonna learn uh, how the the process was was to making a superhero. You know, you have to do a muscle suit. That's really not their body underneath yeah. all of that. They, we sculpt and we mold and we, and then we turn this uh, iconic character, this Black Panther, into an African king, which really was the the biggest, I think, um, takeaway from the film is that we got to see Wakanda. 